Welcome back. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to cut holes through the parts that you create in Roblox Studio. This is going to be helpful when you're creating things like windows, or if you wanna create something like a tunnel, or anything that you want a player to look through or walk through. So let's get started. We left off with the different models that we created, and you know how to create the model and now separate the model when you're building in Roblox. Now I'm gonna delete this one model that we have there. So let's say you wanna create something like a wall, and what you need to do is start with a part. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a block. And again, uh, I wanna make sure I change that brick color. So now I'm going to resize and scale this brick. So let's make something like a wall. And so let's say we have a wall there and instead of having material be cobblestone, let's have it be wood. All right, so let's pretend this is a wall for a house uh, and you wanna create a window in there so you can see through it. So first what you'll need to do is create the wall and then you're gonna create another part that is gonna act like the window. And it doesn't matter what the color is of this part, I'm gonna go ahead and scale this up and let's say the window, we want it to be right around there. Um, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make it nice and long. So the reason I did this is so I can show you, uh, we need to click on that part and go down to uh, Can Collide and make sure that is turned off and then uh, I'm going to uh, go back up to move. So now I can, with that can collide turned off, I can move it right through this wall. I'm gonna put it right in the middle, something like that. So you can see it's in the middle there and it's on showing on both sides. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is select the, the uh, window and you're gonna have that selected and go up to model and then click on negate. And what that does is that makes it like negative space. So you can't see it now, but Whenever I make this a model, it's gonna create a hole there. So now I need to click on both parts, so the wall and the window or negative part. So I've got these two selected. And now with them both selected, I'm gonna click on union. So now that they've been united uh, into one, the negative space goes through that and creates like almost like a window. Now, if I were to go ahead and play this game, you always wanna check and test whenever you play. Now, I did not anchor anything, so we'll see if um, this model falls apart. It did not. So you wanna make sure that you have, uh, oh, it is kind of uh, moving. So you can see I'm moving the wall a bit. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure when you make these kinds of parts, uh, you have the union selected here and go down to anchored and just press on anchored. And so that'll make sure that it doesn't move around and that uh, the hole is where it is you want it to be. So cutting th holes through parts is very helpful. Um, so it's helpful for creating things like windows and tunnels that you would do it the same way with a tunnel. You would just probably use something like a, a cylinder instead or an oval. So if I were to go up to a part and then add a cylinder instead, um, I could take that cylinder and then I could, you know, uh, scale the part and then do the same thing that I did before where I rotate it. Then I can hit the negate button um, and then union and that'll create that uh, effect again. So uh, I'm gonna delete this. If you want multiple holes, you're gonna have to, uh, if you want multiple holes in the same wall, you're gonna have to, uh, you know, separate this uh, union again. So you'd have to uh, separate so that we have two parts. So let's say I wanted to put this through there as well. Now I can go ahead and go to home and then move. And so that way I can move that through. Again, uh, that looks pretty good. Uh, so there we go. And then I'm going to go up to model and then I'm gonna click on union again. Oh, actually first I need to hit negate for that part. So negate, so now that's a negative part. Now I need to select all three parts. Oops, I moved it. So I need to select all three parts. So again, you could drag like that or easier is to uh, click, hold shift and then click the other parts. And then I'm gonna go up to union. And then now you can see now it has two holes in there. So that's how you can make multiple holes. You can also use the negate for uh, carving out different kinds of shapes and angles. So let's say I wanted to add a block here and let's say I wanted to cut a like a different shape in there. So I'm just gonna kind of scale this so that it's long. Okay, so let's say I wanted an angle. So what I could do is create another part and I'll just go up to part block and I create another block and what I'm going to do with this block is I'm going to rotate it oops wrong rotation again you can just uh, control Z to undo anything and then I'm going to scale this a little bit to make it bigger and I'll put it on the edge there okay and I'm going to go so with that block selected I'm going to go up to negate and now I'm going to click on both blocks 
and then I have them both selected. I'm going to click on union and now you'll see I was able to create an angle for uh, the other block. So that is uh, very useful for you know cutting through things. So you can cut through things as well as create other kinds of shapes with the negative space that you create with the other parts. So these are very helpful as you're creating different things in Roblox Studio. So your action item for today is to go ahead and create a wall like we did here and practice uh, cutting a hole through the wall in different shapes. That way you get comfortable with it. And then, um, you know, getting used to union and the gate. Models are something that you're going to use a lot in Roblox Studio. And especially if you want to create more custom games, models are something you're going to want to become pretty uh, good at making. So I think, and I'll see you in the next lesson.